We're at Bio Europe Spring Session here in Stockholm, Sweden. The Spring Session for 2016. I'm Steen Stovall with Informa Pharma Insights. I'm an editor with our publication script, Pink Sheet and InVivo. And joining me is uh, uh, um, um, Jean Mario Piras. 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 And he is the licensing director at uh, the Minari Group, yeah. which is uh, Italy's largest pharmaceuticals company. Welcome. That is true, thank you. And uh, you're very well represented here in Europe, but uh, you're not yet represented in Europe, uh, in uh, America or Japan. Yeah. What are uh, you doing to close those gaps? Oh, yes. Uh, in this very moment, we are, uh, we are improving our presence in Asia Pacific area, which uh, uh, where we had acquired in, t in 2011, just a few years ago, then a company. So we are improving this area, our presence. But our plan is to, to fill the gap, especially for the US, since uh, we are moving more from the primary care to the secondary care. So the biggest market for secondary care is US. So since this market is uh, so huge, and since we want to still grow up our company that is still growing up from a lot of decades since now so we want to improve our presence and, uh, and uh, in the world especially on the US for Japan it could be much more difficult but we think that also in the future also Japan will be a market where we, we, we are going to target also there now you're getting into the US market via the respiratory area is that right uh, we are still not had a plan to enter in the U.S. because it's a really a rewarding market, but from the other side, it could be really costly and dangerous for a medium-sized company as Manarin is today. Because after with 3.3, 3.4 billion euros as a turnover, we are in the middle size of the companies, and so we are trying to penetrate this market. Also, or maybe in respiratory, it depends on the agreement we are going to do in the near future and also in the late future. But also, we think that the secondary care, first of all, will be the, 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 key, the key aspect to, to penetrate this market. That could be maybe oncology, that could be maybe cardiovascular area, but I think that the, the main strategy could be that. A possible option could be also to acquire a company that already have a business in the U.S. Because uh, build up today from scratch a company in the U.S. It could be too much costly also for a company with a size as Manarin is. Well, looking at Europe then, how would you describe your business strategy there? Um, there is a, like um, uh, a history of the company because we, we, we grow up as an Italian company, mainly an Italian company since the, 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 the end of the past century. But uh, through acquisition, that uh, the, one of the most important was the acquisition of Berlin Chemie in 1992. We've grown up throughout Europe, uh, Eastern Europe and also Western Europe, our presence. And uh, so now uh, Menorin company is just uh, a small part inside Italy, but outside Italy is the majority, the vast majority of our turnover is more or less 80% and 20% today. You also have a diagnostics uh, uh, division? We have an uh, important diagnostic division growing up also not only in Italy but also uh, abroad and the OTC division with a very ambitious plan to penetrate not only European territories which we are already in uh, some of the main countries but also uh, Asian territories too where the, the OTC uh, demand is very high and huge. And you're in licensing uh, some products? And we are uh, mainly focused on licensing products since Menorini today have this vast majority of the, 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 the turnover coming from uh, partnering from outside, from, from other companies. So this is today, this is our strategy, partnering from licensing in product. And uh, since we are a really uh, good commercial partner, I, I, I say for uh, some uh, territory, for some area, the best partner I, I can, uh, a big pharma or a small pharma can desire uh, we uh, are we understand that this way also in the future could be the, the, the main way to penetrate also the other markets just to show you some uh, some number from IMS the presence on doctor field of Menarini today is the highest if you consider all the field of doctors in Europe top five Europe I mean so uh, how is this partnering a conference here in Sweden been going for you then? Oh yes, is uh, my first uh, partnering uh, conferences because uh, I was involved uh, in the past in the sales and marketing business. But uh, I so I am brand new at this, so I have the the, the, the the hint that a person with no other link can have. From the other side, I'm learning from the 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 the, the um, way of um, have a best uh, employing of the time during those conferences. Because 
because the time is really short. How, uh, the, the speed dating, is it? Yeah. Speed dating. Yes. yes. But in licensing is very important for you. It's part of your, your overall growth strategy. Yeah. It's, it's a, uh, talking about strategy is one of the top, uh, the top uh, importance uh, activities for strategies for Menarine. I think it's also important also for other countries, also big, big companies, sorry. Uh, also big company, but for Menarine is one of the top, absolutely. Well, good luck with that.